He's yeah, firing to the end zone. Touchdown! Oh, he <laughs> dropped it! That's I it. dropped it! Oh, no! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's this oh, is crap. Oh, so they get they get a boy. Third and fourteen. Oh, you put him on your channel. Losing his stinking dog. Yeah. Yeah. Unacceptable <laughs> crap. Cleveland, Cleveland down break. God, I want to fire it. I want to say money. Thank you, Dante. Dude, this change, this dude, the voice change. Yeah. You like the voice over and over. The effects are. The effects. Here's the kick. The effects. Oh, here's the kick. The effects. Maybe the most important one of the year. He made it. He made it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He made it. Six to play. <laughs> Phil, he, he's crying. He's so crying in football. Phil, he's oh, he's right, right, show, right down the middle. I mean, he's about to show the kick. Why is he fired? Wait, oh, right, oh, right now he's right downfield. Uh -oh, oh. I dropped it. And he dropped it. He dropped it. He dropped it. He dropped it. <laughs> Nelson Aguilar dropped it. <laughs> I don't even know if he did. John Don, fire my bro, fire Jim Schwartz. That's right. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great evening. I'm sitting here chilling, and I'm watching Cowboys fan talk, my man Rome and stuff over here, talking about it could be a trap game. But that's not what I'm here for. You know, I, I was on the Dan Salio show, you know, and listening to Philly 500 and everybody out there. Um, you know, there's perception and then there's reality perception. And then there's reality. The thing that people keep saying is, Oh, you paid Dak Prescott $60 million. He's a choker. He sucks, man. You know, you're paying for regular season. It's like, wait a minute. I just want to go back because again, there's perception and there's reality. I know we have not had enough playoff success. Believe me. There's nothing I want more than seeing my team in the Super Bowl again. But, you know, you first have to get that far. But here's the thing. This is crazy because I, I want to just take you to – just take go back and look at a, a game or two that we've had with the Cowboys that have been losses because they'll point out two and five and it's all Dak Prescott's fault. Let's pop this up here for a minute, okay? Um, right here, this is – when we played in the divisional round against the Rams, we lose 30-22, to 22, and immediately people said, Dak Prescott, man, he sucked. But I want to go through the numbers here for a second because I want you to think about this here. Because Dak was 20-32, 266 yards, 8.3-yard average, one TD, no interceptions. Okay? He had 84.4 QBR and a 99.2 rating. That ain't that, that's that's not bad. It's not that he was a turnover machine, but then I want you to go down here and look and I'm not trying to trash Zeke Elliott, but we got 20 carries for 47 yards. 2.4 yards per carry. That carried twice for 3 yards. You need to be able to do some things. But take a look at this. Michael Gallup, six catches, 119 yards, 19.8 yard average. Amari Cooper, six catches, 65 yards. And then you look down the line, you had Dalton Schultz, who was a rookie, the Jar, Blake Jarwin, Cole Measley Beasley, Noah Brown, Rico Gathers actually played in that game, and Trayvon Austin. So I'm looking at this and I'm going to ask to say, did we have a whole lot of elite players on this roster? No, we did not. On the flip side here, because I'm looking at that, and it's not like where you've got, you know, Devontae Smith and uh, A.J. Brown and Dallas Goddard and stuff like that, or or Christian McCaffrey and Debo and Ayuk and Kittle and stuff. You had Amari Cooper who came there that season and Michael Gallup and Cole Beasley who was getting ready to get out of there. Now, in comparison – Look what Jared Goff did. 15 of 28 for 186 yards, a 6.6-yard average. You got Dak throwing almost two yards more per pass. His rating is a 54 to Dak's 84. 
His rating, 74 to Dax, 99. 24 points higher rating. But here's the difference. C.J. Anderson, 23 carries, 123 yards. Todd Gurley, 16 carries, 115 yards. They had 273 yards on the ground. So, how is this loss on Dak Prescott? And mind you, we scored, boom, in the fourth quarter to get within eight. And if the Cowboys' defense had stopped them on fourth down and Jared Goff runs for like eight yards, the Cowboys get the ball back. They're scoring. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So, looking at this, I know what what Walker Wade and people say, well, your quarterback's got to overcome. Okay, I hear you. But we know in the playoffs, running games are key. 47 yards, actually 50 yards running the football? Bro, that ain't going to cut it. Remember the statistic with um, Emmitt Smith? Anytime he rushed for 100 yards, they were butter. When they didn't, they had a losing record. Let's take a look at one more here real quick, okay? This was his rookie year going against the Green Bay Packers. This is another one of those playoff losses where they say Dak's a choker. Dak is 24 of 38, 302 yards, 7.9 yard average, three TDs, one interception, a 73.6 QBR, and a 103 rating. Going against Aaron Rodgers, a young Aaron Rodgers, not the Aaron Rodgers that's in the Jets. Aaron Rodgers, miracle drive at the end where if our defense makes the stop, it's over. 355 yards from Aaron frickin' Rodgers, 8.3 yard average, two TDs, one interception. So... I don't know that you take those two games and you look and you say, Dak sucks. He's a choker. Because that's two of the losses right there. Two of the losses, and he's got four TD passes and one interception. I'm sorry, two interceptions. Can't point the finger on those. And there are the victories against the Seattle Seahawks when um, they had Russell Wilson and he was still good. That's there. And then there's a going against Tom Brady where he had five TD passes. So I'm not sure that the playoff choker is necessarily warranted where you look at this and you just say, it's just Dak. If Dak had played better, you know, with everything that everybody else did, that we were good. You give up 273 yards on the ground to somebody, you're not winning. And if you give up 355 yards passing, you're probably not winning either, although we had a chance in both of those. So there you have it. Uh, feel free, trolls, to say you're just trying to to uh, stand up for a garbage-ass quarterback because he sucks. Okay. Okay. Already good people. I hope you all are having a great day. I'm going to go back to listening to Rome, seeing about this being a trap game. And I appreciate you guys. Peace out. Disrespected yet? Does this defense have any heart? Let's no, go. they suck. I've been telling you all season, they Philly. Shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me, Jordan? <sighs> Kayla Carter. It's like they shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't Don't you hear me, Jordan? <sighs> Kayla Carter. It's like they shit on you. Kill them. Oh my goodness! Did he 